Platypus. Where does the platypus fit in the animal kingdom? The platypus is from Australia. They're a funny mixture of a lot of different animals. They have a beak and webbed feet like a duck, a tail like a beaver, and fur that keeps them dry and warm like an otter. They're great swimmers and can hold their breaths for a long time. The platypus is very special, as they are a mammal like you and me, but they lay eggs like a bird. They live in burrows beside fresh water, lakes, swamps, or creeks. This is where they lay their eggs. Have you ever seen a platypus? That would be really lucky, because they're very shy. <laughs> Penguins. Penguins are the best dressed animals on the planet. They're easy to spot. They look just like they're wearing tuxedos. They have a cute, elegant walk. And can even say, How do you do? But they also like to have fun sliding on their bellies. Penguins are the champions of sliding and swimming. It helps them escape their biggest predators, seals and orcas. They live in cold climates, in places such as Antarctica. That's why they have special feathers that keep them warm in water. Have you ever seen a penguin wearing a jumper? No, that would be silly. What else makes the penguin special? Well, they're a bird that can't fly. But they can swim just like a fish. So, what makes them a bird? Well, they still have a beak, wings, feathers, and lay eggs. Oh, look, baby penguins. Bunny rabbits. What's a bunny rabbit? Well, they're probably one of the cutest animals going around. Bunny rabbits are small, fluffy fellows. They have thick, soft fur with big, floppy ears, long whiskers, and twitchy noses. Their strong back legs are great for jumping, and their short tails bob up and down as they go. Hop, hop, hop. A female rabbit is called a doe, a male is called a buck, and baby rabbits are called kits or kittens. Rabbits have big families that live underground in a group of burrows called a warren. They can be great pets. Just make sure you have lots of carrots and vegetables to feed them. This pet rabbit, Ralph, is famous because he's the biggest in the world. Wow, that's a big bunny. Can you think of another famous bunny rabbit? Yes, that's right. The Easter Bunny. Shh. Is that the Easter Bunny coming? <laughs> pigs. Have you ever seen a pig at a farm? They have funny pink noses and curly little tails. Their noses are very good at sniffing out food. Oink, oink. Pigs are omnivores. That means they eat both meat and vegetables. Pigs love to splash in the mud to cool down. But they are actually very clean. Did you know? Pigs are very clever. They're even smarter than dogs. Daddy pigs are called boars. Mummy pigs are called sows. Little pigs are called piglets. Look at the cute piglets. Dogs. Hairy, friendly dogs with wagging tails are great workers and friends for people. In fact, that's why they're called man's best friend. 
for a long, long time, dogs have lived with humans. And they've helped in many ways. Dogs have lent a paw to farm work, hunting, security, and even assisting people with disabilities, like guide dogs who help blind people. They also make great pals for people and families. They love to play and fetch balls. and go for long walks. There are lots of different types of dogs. These are called breeds. Some example breeds include the Loyal Labrador, the Tough English Bulldog, the Fast Greyhound, the Huge Saint Bernard, the Excited Boxer, the Hardworking Border Collie, and the wonderful Cocker Spaniel with big floppy ears. Dogs are very smart animals, and they have much better hearing and sense of smell than people. Do you know the name of cute baby dogs? Yes, they're called puppies. Meerkats. Meerkats are small, squirrel-sized critters that come from the mongoose family. Cute, furry little meerkats have pointy brown noses, stripy backs, a long, thin tail to help with standing, and dark brown patches around their binocular vision eyes. Meerkats forage for a variety of food each day. Scratching around in the sand... They look for insects like beetles, spiders, and scorpions, or small reptiles, birds, eggs, and fruit. Living in large family groups of up to 40, called mobs or gangs, they have amazing teamwork. While the mob forages, some of the meerkats, called sentries, keep a lookout for the others. They stand tall while their heads dart around, searching for predators. The sentries let out a loud squeal if they see something, and everyone runs to the safety of the burrow. Meerkat burrows contain lots of entrances, tunnels, and rooms. Inside the burrow, babysitters take turns looking after young meerkats called pups. Meerkats use the large curved claws on their fingers to dig their elaborate homes. Did you know meerkats worked so well together as a team? I bet you can do the same with your family and friends. Click on the videos above to see more amazing animals. And be sure to subscribe.